And he Whoa, put, what's the other stuff? Let's just blow past that. Oh, okay. Exactly. <laughs> we'll blow past that. Um, <laughs> you should um, give Jared head? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why the f*** are people so impressed by pyramids? First of all, welcome to episode 27. <laughs> I was going to say, we got to intro the podcast. Okay. Welcome to episode 27 of- I want to go change my sweater. Okay. Never mind, guys. Really? See you next That's week. That's what you do right now? What the hell? No worries. We'll just wait for her. Should we just roll? I, I assume she's gonna steal one of my sweatshirts, but that's fine. Should we just roll the intro? Wait, wait, which which sweatshirt do you think she's gonna steal of mine? The pink one. Black one, yep. <laughs> oh, black. Dude, you can't wear this you can't wear my What did you say? You this last podcast? Yeah. You wore oh. this last po- last podcast? That's my turtleneck. That's fine. I'll wear it this podcast. Yeah, I picked up on it when you wore it this podcast. <laughs> What's up, B words, and welcome back to episode We we already did that part. You were changing your sweater. It's episode so, 27, seven. by the way. What's up, B-Wars? Welcome back to episode 27. There you go. There's my intro. Uh, Can we talk about the pyramid? And um, say, hit that. Thank you. We have intro music. Okay, that but we have I'm to just get. really intrigued by this situation. Must be weird when you can't hear anything. Oh, yeah. That's how I felt that one week. That's how I felt that one week when my headphones were broken. We were playing the intro music. I was like, okay, nobody's, nobody's going to talk. I think these are my new headphones, guys. I think I like these more. You look like Steve Jobs. You got the Apple headphones with the turtleneck, you, black turtleneck, and the, the, the jeans, white wash jeans, and the white shoes. Oh, my God. Is this what he used to wear? If you had glasses on right now, it'd complete the look. Holy hell. She you needs those, like, Harry Potter glasses that he the, had. The ones that I wear. The circular? You don't wear circular They're glasses. They're pretty circular. Indiana woke up just... Um, as the Hulk this morning. I gave him so much attitude. I, I just called her. I was literally just be like, hey, what's going on? And she was just death. She's like, I, I would kill <laughs> you if I get the chance. And you know when you don't do anything wrong, but it feels like you've done everything wrong? Yes. Couldn't be 100%. worse. 100%. Indy likes to put us in those situations. That's every day with her, actually. No, it's actually not. It's not every day. It's every other day. Sorry. It's ev- <laughs> it's like a twice weekly thing. It's consistent. That's too many. Dude, but imagine. I'm been used to it, all right? It's been eight months. Wait, ago. wait, wait. If we, if we did it to you, how would you react, though? If we're having a bad oh, day. Oh, we wouldn't be friends. So, like, why? Why? Why, <laughs> that, why do we why do put, we up, put with up with it? That's a good question. Ask yourselves that. So, if, but I if, have many a nights when I stay up. But are we still wait, friends? Wait. Yeah, so that's on you. Well. Wait, if you if we give you attitude back when you give us attitude, um, <laughs> what's going to happen? You're going to die. Oh, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do an experiment. Death. All right. This week, guys, um, throughout the week, she's going to be mad about something. And you're um, going to give me attitude back? I'm going to try to are give her attitude. Are you actually going to do it? Yeah. Actually? I mean, we probably won't speak again, but yeah. In okay. any words, Zach's funeral is next weekend. Guys, you guys can come and say your last words. Dude, I'm going to do what like she that. always does to us. She'll be like doing something and just hang up. Or, or, oh, or. Is that, oh, doesn't that just make your blood that. boil? Yes. We're in like a conversation. I feel like she knows she she's goes, losing. All right, bye. No, she knows she's losing, so she hangs up. That yeah. or I turn the volume up on anything. No, I wanted to fight you so hard the other day <laughs> indiana was 100 percent in the wrong we're in an no, argument i wasn't i was not in the wrong oh my god here we go i think i handled this situation poorly but i wasn't in the wrong i wouldn't say i was in the wrong well at least was in the wrong in that. my eyes in my eyes in was your in the eyes wrong. in your eyes you were in the wrong in Jer- that's jared's because eyes you were in the wrong so you're i was hey don't drag me into this right. this is your guys's fight don't drag me i, into I would this. agree to disagree zero percent chance i was in the wrong anyway okay all right anyway <laughs> let's just all right move past it oh that's what we love to do we don't like talking about our problems. Okay. <laughs> and this brings me to my point. So we're in a fight. And I <laughs> and when we're in a fight, it's never a big thing. And I just want to talk about it. It can be cleared up in five but seconds. In, 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 in my defense. You don't have no you have no defense, but go on. <laughs> See, you're annoying. Coming from someone that just went. <laughs> <laughs> because that's so child. <laughs> what the hell? That would actually be childish, but go ahead. It's childish, but you're acting that way. Go ahead. Yes, you are. I you're love getting being me on mad. This, podcast so this is much. getting me this is so, much so mad now. <laughs> Why I, told, we, I told you I'd give her attitude back. That's what dude, I'm doing. <laughs> what the hell? I don't care. Fine. Don't care. I'm, watch me get pissed at you. And watch us have a two hour f-ing argument after this podcast, Zach. <laughs> oh my God. I literally, I, I gave you attitude I back. Go like I home. said, and this is what's going to happen. Of course it's going to happen. I go okay. home in less than 12 hours. The last thing I need to like think about is you guys fighting. Bye, I just want to have fun on this podcast. Bye bye. Um, what was I going to anyway, say? No, we no, were, no, wait, wait. We're talking about we're in okay, the car. Okay, sick. Okay, Honestly, we were in the car. A day break Dude, will be you good. just f-ing triggered yeah. my fight or flight, and I'm actually pissed now. So you guys are gonna get an angry Andy for the rest of this podcast. Anyway, we were you in the- already said that you were angry. Yeah, I was, no I already right before in a bad we were mood. asking like what we should talk about on the podcast, and she goes, "Don't ask me because I'm already in a bad mood." Yeah, I'm like, in a bad what? mood. I'm not gonna lie. You said anything you say, I'll be negative towards. But this is cute. I like this shirt. Thanks. Boohoo.com. <laughs> <laughs> it's from Boohoo, baby. Boo-hoo. Wait, I was gonna say something, and I we were talking about the. Oh, I was gonna say in in. In my defense, <laughs> we're or still talking about this. In my defense, and you agreed with me because you were actually the one that Whoa, explained Jared. it to me. You were the one that explained it to me, and Hold you agreed on. with me. Yes, you did. 
and I expect you to tell the truth Dude, here. Jared don't loves just doing get that. He's, wait, wait. Jared loves being on whoever's team he's talking to, doesn't That's, he? Oh, a little bit, yeah. No. Very, no, but this one was different because he explained to me that I handled the situation wrong, but he said, but in your defense, Zach loves to bring up things in the wrong place. What are you talking? Where else am I supposed to bring it up? Zach, like what when, I was saying- I didn't know Indy's, it was anything bad. Indy's- No, right. no, 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 like, no, 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 no. What I was talking about was that- well, like we're Riley and I were just joking. That's not our fight, right? But when we were in the car, you're like, you were looking like Riley, Jared. Like, are you, neither of you going to say anything? It's like that's because not our I'm, fight. I, because no, I was no, trying no. to I bring was... it up in front of people when that's a private. That's a you and her conversation. You well, know? no, but and if it starts like, in front of people, like. You guys are in the car. If it starts in front of if people, you never back me up. If it starts in front of people, if it starts in front of people, the thing that you should do is like. But I, you won't talk to him, me about it later. Okay, but what makes you think I'm going to talk to you about it in front of people? Because I'm mad then. I understand you're mad. Okay, but then. that's how I handle situations, no, I and you handle them differently. So we got to find a common medium. <laughs> oh my God! Zach, I'm gonna actually. Was, this is getting no, me no, so angry. No, 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 no. This is what I was saying. Hold on, hold on. Why do you do that? Hold on. This is what I was saying. Okay, the. Like, okay, the fight started in the car, okay? But that was, obviously, she was not in the place to talk about it. Hence her, like, when he tried to bring it up, she turned okay, up the music. And, and, hold, would on, that not, hold on, hold on. Boil you. Yes, I know that would boil me. But also, in my head, that would trigger the, the mindset, like, she's not going to talk about it right now. And especially after she ignored okay, but, you, after she turned up the music. Okay, but okay, okay. I Jared. wouldn't bring it up again after that. Okay, but that's, you got to hear me out. You hear me out. If we're in a fight, me and her in a fight. Uh-huh. It's got to be, we have to have equal respect for each other in, even in that situation. So if I'm in the car and she- I get that. No, it's not, not having respect. It's just her. being mature and not handling situations in front of people when it's inappropriate. Hold on. No, hold stop, on, hold stop. on. Can I just the, say my piece? Everyone said their piece. I'm going to say my piece. The mutual respect, I told her- angry. I told her that she handled it wrong. I said, yes. you, that was not the place to bring it up, but also she handled the situation wrong. That's mm -hmm. where the mutual respect is. Yeah. I'm not on anybody's it's side. It's about not bringing Both it up and handling it. No, that poorly. No, that's my final Can I Can I explain what happened? Okay. Okay, something on TikTok happened, and I did not know what was happening. I was like, oh, what's the video about? And you said, oh, uh, and I can't tell you. And then, like, you ran I away. I didn't do that, so. Anyway, you did, because you said, I'm not going to tell you. Okay, you, but you I did. didn't. Yes, you did. You went like, oh, uh, and then you went to Riley, and you guys, like, both looked at each other like this in the eyes. And, like, obviously, everyone in the room knew what was happening, and no one would tell me. So I thought it was, like, something about me. And I was like, okay, what's happening? And then no one would tell me. I was like. Hey, Indy, just what's happening? And then you still wouldn't tell me. And then we get in the car. Okay, but the thing is, though, the thing is, though, if somebody doesn't tell you in that moment. Okay, but if it seems but, sus. But, Zach, then, but no, but Zach, no, no. But you no, have no, to no. say, I will but tell you. Why hey, are you allowed to finish your sentence you'll and say, I'm not? Because you'll say, hey, I'll, I'll okay, tell you later. Sick. You're like, hey, I'll tell you later. You don't do that. You just don't tell me. And but, I, like, I do. I, it's not that I'm going to be like, I'll tell you later. But if clearly somebody's not wanting to talk about something in a certain situation. Okay, but it seemed like it was but, about no, me. No, no, but I understand that. But the last thing you should do is try and handle that situation in a public mall in front of people. Like, that's not There's how you deal there. with it. It doesn't matter that there was nobody there. We were still in a public place. And then we're in the car. We're still in front of two of our friends. And if you want to deal with something with me, the last thing you should do is start bringing it up in front of people. Because I'm never going to open up in front of people. No, but... Okay, but in that situation- No, I understand where you're coming from. I really do, but it's just like, I'm not gonna, you're not gonna convince me that you were in the right there. Okay, you think you were in the right? I think I was in the right. That's, we're never gonna come to a common ground on that. All I'm saying is I was in the car. I started- You've explained that a million times. See, cool. don't do, like, that's the stuff I don't like. Anyway, okay. I was in the car and I was trying to talk to you and then you turn up the volume every time <laughs> I try to talk. Why would I not get mad? If I did that to I'm, you- I and that's if I me, did that to you, you walk out of the car. I never said that you weren't allowed to be mad. I never said that you were not allowed to feel the way you were feeling. Okay, but I I'm going to keep bringing it up. Why you... can't I finish my sentence? <laughs> 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 I understand that I handled the situation poorly. I completely admit to that. I never said I didn't handle the situation poorly. By me handling the situation poorly includes me turning up the volume when you were talking. That's me handling the situation poorly. But you didn't come up to me afterwards and be like, I handled that poorly. Okay, sir. Okay, that's... Well, then you don't think you handled it poorly if you didn't like bring it up to me. If I'm hurt by something you did. I think I handled it poorly, but I'm never going to be like. No, I handled it poorly. Why would I do that? Because that's just what people would do to each other if they think they hurt the other person. But it's me handling the situation poorly, but also like I wouldn't have handled it poorly if you didn't bring it up. But I wouldn't have brought it up if you weren't being sus. I wasn't being sus. I feel like there's a definition of sus, but. I feel like it's not the definition of sus, but. You want to move on to the next topic? Because this is just going to go on forever. I took off my headphones because I just did not want that in my ears anymore. That was fun, though. Um, 
Anyway, Indy was talking about Zach's how she's not in, now. impressed And he's going to be in a bad pyramids. mood for the rest of the podcast. God damn it. Can we just talk about how impressive or not impressive the pyramids are? <laughs> Holy hell. I think the Correct. pyramids are very impressive. Okay, I brought this up at the beginning of the podcast. I think they're impressive. Don't get me wrong. I just don't understand why people are so baffled by how they were built. Like, why are like... How were they built? That's crazy. And it's like, I never said that it was like not impressive. Like it would have taken years and years and a lot of hard work and a lot of strong people. But like at the same time though, there it's not, it's not impossible. It's not impossible, but think about like, um, oh, Jesus Christ. I was about to say prehistoric. Um, think about ancient technology where they're using literally using like ropes and manpower and donkeys and stuff like that. No, I know that. To pull tons and but tons not, and tons of stone i get that but it's not technically impossible well nothing's impossible exactly to do that not only once but three times over you know like the great pyramids of giza like it's just like that's impressive and the fact that they're lined up with but the if stars. you think about it anything's possible with with enough manpower and they had yeah but that's thousands. why that's why people are impressed by it because it took so I many i never people. said it's not impressive What's your argument? My argument is just I'm concerned why people are so like, wow, how are these built? Like people are like, that's impossible. How were they built? Because it, I don't think like, it's actually like, like that. It's actually that's like a big question. Like how were they built? Because it's like back then, that's a super difficult thing to do. Yeah, but it's not. It's and a lot of the things don't add up. Like they shouldn't have been able to. I think it's like I forgot what it is. Like keep it flush. Like, all the way or something? I don't know. Keep it flush, what does that mean? Oh, like how it's, like, a consistent, like, yeah. angle all the way up. Because, like, the mathematics just seem it's just too a, way past the time. Too precise. Well, oh, that, that's true. There are a lot. Of, okay, then, yes, I understand that that side of it equally is baffled. I'm talking about the, the, like the physical part of it. I think what people are impressed by is, like, the physical aspect of it because it was a physical feat, especially for that time. Oh, yes. And, like, even now, it would still be, do like, you know a the physical feat. Do you know that um, in the where the pyramids are built is the center of the earth, apparently? Like, it's the exact coordinates of and the see, center of the earth. that's where people start the craziness, like, in the the wonder uh, surrounding the pyramids. That's where it starts okay, to come then from. That is makes where sense. they're, like, they're lined up with the stars, I and it's just, the center of the earth. No, no. And that's when people are, like, that's and when the, the history channel is, like, ancient aliens. The the exact, like they built these. the exact coordinates, I was watching this TikTok, apparently the exact coordinates of the pyramids are the same, it's the same number as the speed of light. What the uh, down hell? To, down to the seventh decimal, down to the seventh decimal, they got that right. So when Whoa. I speak, when I think of that side of things, equally as amazing, I'm talking about just the physical lifting and building of it. I feel like it's I feel not, like that's even more impressive. The physical aspect of it? Like those blocks were thousands upon thousands upon well, thousands of pounds. I'm going to look up how much a... a how, uh, how much one of those a pyramid stones stone yeah. was? I was just more thinking about like, well, clearly they just did it this way. Like, I mean, I think it's ama amazing and like incredible and like it's crazy. But at the same time, though, I don't think it's like like anything's possible. Do you know what I mean? Oh well, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is I think this is your. I don't think you really understand the numbers. Um, the Great Pyramids consist of an estimated two point three million blocks of stone. So it's a lot more than just like stacking a few. It's not like stacking a few like Lego this pieces. Isn't, yeah, this is not a it's well, two point no shit. And uh, each stone weighs about two point five tons. So that's about four, what four and a half thousand pounds. Oh shit! You that's flip, why you flip they're sides so. Or <laughs> yeah, I did. That's <laughs> crazy. I thought there were a couple hundred. Pounds. Holy hell! There, I thought there were a couple hundred pounds. So one pyramid weighs Guys, about stone? what? I thought they were like a couple. That's hundred twenty pounds. pounds right there. Lift it up. That the weight that's holding down the the mic arm. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Now imagine twenty five hundred pounds, and then there's um oh. one. What is it? One point six million of them? No, two point three. Two point three million of them. Yeah. I can't. I can't. Um, Not and impressive. So though. according no, I never to, said it wasn't impressive. Quit saying that. I said it wasn't impressive. According to the math, each pyramid. Maybe I, yeah, I just didn't know the math well enough. A pyramid weighs about five point seven five. Uh, million tons. That's great. Let's do the the quick maths well, on yeah, that. Yeah, we get that. It's a <laughs> lot. It's heavy. It's heavy. Okay, then yeah, I guess I just didn't know the math well enough. Okay, but I don't but know math in general. But like, do you know what I mean? I, I I genuinely didn't think that they were as heavy as you're telling me. Okay, but this brings up an interesting question. Do you guys believe in aliens or not? Hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. There's no way they can. Speaking okay. of which, here's, weren't here's, we just discussing the about the the freaking treaty that Trump has signed with with the Galactic Federation? <laughs> Who the f 
<laughs> Did he write that with? I legally can't talk about this. What? <laughs> I'm in the it's contract. part of it, yeah. Oh, it, I fully believe in, I don't know if I necessarily believe in the aliens that we're talking about, like meaning like they're green with three eyes and all this shit, but do you? I believe in other forms of consciousness. Me too, me too. That's I what I believe we in. we can't even picture what aliens look I like. I have no idea what an alien would look like. Yeah. Sexy. I think Jared, would you get with an alien? Do you know do you know Depends. a do you know a gover like a like something that the government refers people that have green hard green hearts? <laughs> the something that the government refers to people that hold green cards as is aliens. Like it's like a like an actual term that they use. Yeah, illegal aliens. Yeah. Or not le oh, illegal aliens. Is that not like fed up? Well no, no. It, aliens because aliens just mean alien you're not from this uh, yeah, land. Exactly. I know, I just feel like it's weird. Honestly, probably if like an alien landed here and like made contact, they would be called by the same name that they call like their ships, like UFOs. They would be like an unidentified organism. So they'd be like UIOs or whatever, UOs or something, you know, like they would, I don't think they'd call aliens. them aliens. Yeah. No, I get that. But, I think, okay. Do you think, speaking of, but speaking do you think aliens have made contact with earth? Do, like, speaking you, of that, well, cause speaking of aliens, Creating contacts with Earth. Have you guys seen all those um, what are those silver things that are popping up in random places? Do you oh, think the that little, that's? Like, do you think that that's honestly like aliens, or do you think it's just some teenagers fucking with us? I don't think it's teenagers, but I think it's just. people. I think it's the same thing as like the clowns. You know, people exactly. find a trend and then they they'll get over it. Speaking of twenty sixteen clowns, where did y'all go? It's We're like, getting off the topic of aliens so fast. <laughs> I know we can come back. It's just like 2016 aliens. We're all scared to like leave our homes because they like murder us. Clowns. clowns. Oh, sorry, clowns. And now we haven't seen them since then. Uh, didn't they start popping back up for a second there? I don't know. I haven't been on. Did they? I thought they did. Riley, yeah, yeah. Head, yeah. They started popping up again. When? And I was just speaking about. I just filmed a new show, and I was just speaking about this with them, and they were like, "I was like, they asked me a question like, what was what's one thing that you're most baffled about in your middle school or high school years or whatever?'" And I was like, "Where the." F did they go? Why were people just like, we're not going to leave our homes. There are killer clowns everywhere. And then it just one day they stopped. Like what? Why are we not talking about this? That was my tweet the other day. Like why, why are we not talking about this? Where did they go? Why did they just disappear for a, whoa, 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 I don't know. I literally, I feel <laughs> like, whoa, 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 what? <laughs> because I feel like it was like, it started by like one, like legitimately crazy person. And then everybody just like hopped on. But the I trend. reckon there was more than just one legitimately oh, crazy. Well, yeah, there's being. definitely more than just one. Crazy like there, you, there's being, gotta be something mentally wrong with you for you to put on a happy, for you to paint either a happy or sad face and like be a full grown adult and go to children's birthday I parties. I put on a happy face every day. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Zach. But speaking of aliens, if they were, if they came down and they're like, Jared, you can be the first person to go to another conscious planet, but you can never come back to earth. Would you do it? Oh my God. That would be no, such a No, I wouldn't do it because decision. nobody would know that you were the first person to go well, to no, earth. No, people can know. Like everybody, like but history. Can, do you know. ever have contact with this world again? No. You never then, have contact with no. this world. Ooh. But like but you get to experience something no human will ever experience again, at least for a very long time. I'm fine with that. But no Oh <laughs> that's such a tough question. Jared, think about the love song. I'm well so, why you're gonna experience I'm, that but not be able to share it with anyone. So what's the point? That's true. Well, yeah, but also I mean Like you know in your head you're like but, sick, but, I'm the first one who have done this. And that's it. But that's Jared, the only satisfaction you get. You'll get over that real fast. You're living for yourself. Like you get to experience it. Yeah. You get to experience a new Apple. Apple two. Apple two. Steve Jobs is there. Oh. Steve, Steve Jobs is telling you that that's stupid. No. Why would you want to give dead up RD. all your friends, your family, your endeavors here to go v see something that one you have no idea what it's like over there? So it could be absolute trash. You get a brochure. You be <laughs> <laughs> You're like, and this is the cool logs. All yeah, right, so. all right. What are the, oh, well? I can't even be like. But what are the hear buses, me out. Hear you know? me out. You're gonna get sick of being like, I'm the first person that's done this real fast when you realize you can't pick up the phone and call that's your true moms. if i like have another 80 years of my life and i like but like can't. it's like a new it's a new planet that's and new sick, like, like but like whoa. new technology but also like when we like moved to this apartment it was a new apartment Haley steinfeld goes with you you know what yeah i'm going <laughs> <laughs> all right that's what i like to hear wait uh, if you could press a button you and Haley steinfeld on a deserted island for a year would you do it for a year yeah. yeah, just because uh, you like you feel that connection, fall in love. Yeah, or like you guys could hate each other and never. Yeah, well, we try not to think of the negative. But, um, <laughs> like she said, she was just going to be negative with everything. She yeah, I'm said. negative Nelly today. But yeah, I do it for a year. Yeah, if like, and then after a year, it's just like we're blipped back, and you know, and whatever. Do you think you guys would hang? What if right when you get back, she's like didn't talk to you again? 
that Wait, would... like you felt like it was going great <laughs> and you're like oh this <laughs> so is sick I got Haley. and then she gets back she's like she's like yeah that was a fun that's year. cool i got um, actually a tour to go on yeah we're and absolutely talk anything again. else to do yeah so but hey Hey. I would, I'd have that year. <laughs> and we almost had sex that one time. Ew. <laughs> I think you could smash in a year. I'm not the type to just like one night stand, hook up, like meet at a party or whatever. It's like, I, I'm we get emotional. it. You're not a one night stand person. I'm emotional. How do we feel about spending a day in stripper heels? What? All of us? Mm -hmm. Well, no, but you've already done it. Not, not as a stripper, but like you've, you know how to be in heels all day. But not stripper heels. That's a new oh, ball game. I know. Like, what, I'm talking like stripper heels. Before we get into like it. Like Zach and I are in stripper mm -hmm. heels too. We but all are in stripper heels. For I don't day. know how to rock in regular heels. Before like, I forget. Like even kitten heels. You can cut it. Are we doing the Christmas thing where like we buy each other something? No. Like it might be a skate. I don't have like are money. we all buying two things like no I no. think I buy for you you buy for Jared Jared I just buys had for me, to like, drop like that yeah. I just had to drop six hundred dollars on my car today registration new battery and a smog test it doesn't have to be something expensive it doesn't yeah, I know but it could just be like a recorder dude imagine being sick of the I recorder used to, I used to hot cross buns <laughs> no but like it, it literally be anything or if it's something like if you have something in mind it's like tell that person to buy that thing it's like it's Zach wants to skateboard I've already got a skateboard I'll just give him mine. So if we can just tell them. I'm kind of excited something. about picking like my deck. That's like a three hundred dollar board if you're picking your deck and your wheels and everything. Um, what if we come back and do it for New Year's and it's kind of like a New Year's resolution? Oh, that's smart. Okay, there we New go. Year's that gives us more time. Yeah. That gives me gives us more time yeah, 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 and yeah. more time to, for you and to then, get money. And then what about? And then we'll do. Because like, I'm about to pay you a fat check for editing. Yeah, I sent you a Venmo. Wait, um, we'll do it every <laughs> every month. I did. I think let's the, let's get my online. Let's get my reaction to this Venmo. The the memo for it isn't like as funny, but maybe you'll think it's funny. Ready to get my Venmo reaction to this yeah. expensive ass notification? How much money do you owe? <laughs> <laughs> okay so she thought it was a little funny oh that's funny he they, said hey so i'm paying him some money a buck and a half, buck you, know? and a half. you can say how much i'm paying him 500 bucks for editing and some other stuff and he Whoa, put, what's the other stuff let's just blow past that oh okay <laughs> exactly we'll blow past that um, <laughs> you should um, get jared head <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah uh hey seriously the money for the movie rental would be sick <laughs> <laughs> but it's like 500 dollars because they rented a movie on my even parents amazon my, prime account <laughs> I don't know Allegedly. if I have that much in my account right now. Let's figure it out. The queen of calling people. Oh, yeah. She's podcast. like, we're doing a oh, podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll talk to everyone else. Should we play a round of uh, Mad Libs? Oh, wait. Let's do the I devil's advocate I still don't first. know what that is. Do not I don't know. I don't remember is. you guys bringing this up first podcast or whenever. Words. Do you know what you can get me for Christmas, Riley? I, need, I want socks like that. Like that length, specifically that length of socks. You want them right now? <laughs> people just be getting up from this podcast and leaving and calling people. These are black. And these are mine. Oh yuck! Why would you give me those? Have they been washed? What are those? <laughs> what was uh, when, were, when were they used? We're not talking about it, and I promise you, like if we start bringing this up, I'm going to absolutely leave. So don't. The truck, crave. Oh. <laughs> those are poop socks. <laughs> I promise you, Zach. I'm gonna leave if you start talking about it. Okay, we're not gonna start talking about it. But can I wash my hands? Yes, go wash your hands. I'm gonna do the same. That's. Gross. Have they not been washed since that day? I don't think so. Never mind. False alarm. Not poop socks. All right, let's do the devil's advocate first, and then we'll jump into the Mad Libs, and then we could probably do questions. All right, so we're gonna bring back a game that we have not had in a very, very long time. I'm talking probably since like episode four. We're playing devil's advocate. Let's go. Jesus Christ. Ex let's take all the fun out of it. Explain, Jared. What? Uh, so, devil's advocate is a game where I'm gonna give Zach and Indy two. Uh, two like topics: dogs or cats, right? And I'm gonna say, or die Zach, in a pit of fire, or drown. Well, you know what I mean? I'm gonna say, Zach, you're <laughs> a cat person. Indy, you're a dog person. You have to explain why that what like why you're. But thing regardless, is better. so say it's like it's funnier if like you're not a, you're yeah, yeah. actually not a cat person. You're a dog person. So okay. It's like you've um, gotta exactly. simplistically, we're debating things. We're debating two things like cats and dogs, and we don't get to choose what we debate. That's at random. Exactly. I let's choose. Go. So the first one, we're gonna talk about going on a date you're gonna take your little boo thing out right um we're gonna dis discuss what's better going bowling for a first date <laughs> okay or going to the movies i know which one i want and if i get it i'm gonna be i know which one i want zach you're gonna get bowling what hell, the hell hell Dude, yes you know i hate bowling i zach, hate bowling or too. indy you're gonna get going to the movies okay stupid but <laughs> i'm ready to debate you want to get this no, you can go first. I got to come Ladies up with an first. Okay. I believe going to the movies is a way better option than going bowling because one, depending on the movie, 
it can be like a little bit of a rom-com. There's always a sex scene in a rom-com. It creates a little bit of sexual tension. Horniness. It gives you something to talk about afterwards. It's like, it's your, it's a very close, intimate setting. You guys can do like one of those subtle, like slow hand grabs. A hand over the, hand over the seat. It's a very good place to establish like. Dominance. <laughs> <laughs> Dominance. But no, genuinely it's a very good place to establish some like physical boundaries between you two and be like, ooh, like, mm, do you I'm know what I mean? slip a finger in, I got you. Zach. No. But like, do you, <laughs> no. But like, you know what I mean? If there's like someone kissing, it gives you an opportunity to lean in because it's like both in your guys' heads now. Oh yeah, wait, It gives wait, you wait. something to talk about. It gives you something to relate on. Zach, what? are you about to argue for her? Yeah, yeah, I love the movies. <laughs> okay, listen, what if it's like, hey, Hey, um, they're kissing on screen, and this is what you do. You lean over, you're like, you want to pretend to be a mirror right now? Yeah. That worked for you? That That'd be slick. You're telling me, sorry. That'd be slick. That'd be so slick. <laughs> you're telling me, you're telling me you're sitting in a movie and a girl you're looks cinna- at you. You're cinnamon? <laughs> you're telling me you're sitting in a movie and you're watching two, a couple make out on screen and the girl leans over to you and goes, you want to pretend to be a, a mirror real quick? You're telling I me I don't know that. Well, guys are a lot it easier. It takes a little bit of like. Dude, girls could say anything, and I'd be like, "Yeah." Okay, so if down. like, or you could. Okay, let's simplify it for you. You want to pretend to be them real quick? That's that's what I would say instead. Yeah. That's way more. But, uh, I think Amir more is more than, clever. Amir is definitely smarter, but like, yeah. it is what it is. You know what I mean? Sometimes thinking, you're dating idiots. I don't idiots. think I would think in the moment of be like, "Let's be a mirror." I would think. Wait, like, before we debate further, it's there's such a contrast between like guys and girls. Like, if you're trying to contrast. get them in the mood, because guys, you could be <laughs> the wind could blow just like a little too horny, and then you're like ready to go. <laughs> a then, little too horny. What and the then, f- and then girls, mean? it's like the wind can blow a horny way. What does that mean? Exactly. Like, hey, it, guys, it, no. Yeah, it's like this is <laughs> reminding me of the sound. Whatever that fucking means. And then girls, it's like. Oh man, you got to start it like, you got to start at like 7 a.m. Getting them in the mood just to be at midnight, like try to pull the move and they're still like, you got to start getting them in the mood tired. before you even talk to them. Yeah. But like guys, it's like, you could say one thing and like, you'd be like, you de- guys could not even want to like, yeah, I, I don't even want to have sex. And then uh-huh. she's like, do you want to have sex? And you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Wouldn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> is that, are you made all your points? Uh, guest star Riley Lewis is giving indie pointers or tips or whatever or something. Said something funny. Can, all right. No, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be so honest with the podcast. It, that's not really, that's not, that's, girls are as horny as guys, if not hornier. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's, and I promise our, you. Our boy, Tom Segura, has a bit about uh, girls that say they're hornier than guys. And, and I got to show it to you after true. this. And it's, it's not true. And then she goes, I'm super horny. And I go, Okay. She goes, I'm horny the way guys are. And I go, no, you're not. (laughs) And she goes, yeah, Uh -uh." (laughs) uh-uh. And I said, you're really not. And she goes, yeah, why do you say that? And I said, let me tell you a little story. (laughs) So lady, when you say you're horny the way guys are, I ask you, are you willing to go into an unmarked building and wait behind a wall for a stranger to stick his dick through a hole in that wall and then you (laughs) polish it off for the love of the game? Because that's what savages men are. And she goes, yeah, I'm not that horny. And I go, I know. (laughs) See, I just feel a responsibility to remind women of what pigs Men are. Not true. Okay, you're not hornier than guys, but we're a lot hornier than we lead on. Yeah, but definitely not as horny as guys. Okay, maybe not, but like we're a lot more, we're a lot more for it than you guys would think. But we also, even Why if- Why do you play it, so many even games? If we're in yeah, mood, it's always no before it's, a yes. But, uh, <laughs> honestly, even if we're in the mood, we'll say no. That what is so true. What the hell is that? I, I'm you sorry. know, we can literally just have sex. It's just be like, yes. Yes. Instead, it's, no, I'm not really feeling it. And then it's like- then you got to work the booty Dude, a little bit. I forget what her name is, but I think it starts with a T, but there's another stand-up comedian that has a bit this about is, this. If you guys are consensual, by the way, don't. Oh, yeah. This is like, all consensual. Yeah, yeah. But no, she has a bit where she's like, she's like, yeah, you're getting with a guy. And like, she's like, yeah, I don't really want to have sex yet. And then the, when the guy says like, oh, yeah, we don't have to do anything. And she it. goes, she's like, well, now we do. <laughs> you know? so when I was younger and I was waiting, I would tell guys, I'm not ready to have sex yet. Is that okay? And anytime guys were really cool about that decision, that just made me want to have sex with them more because there is nothing hotter than someone respecting your boundaries. You're just like, what? Take your pants off. Get over here. It's- <laughs> the hottest thing you can say to a girl is, hey, we don't have to do anything. <sighs> now we do. 
<laughs> and it's just Ew, like I hated that face you made. And it's just like no, what, it's what like is even that when game? girls are in the mood to like do some shit, they'll still say no. But why say no? Then why come say, say come no? Come sit, come sit, come sit, because you're another girl. Hey guys. Hey, what's screw, up? She's screw back. The, screw for the, the bowling fourth honestly. time. Screw bowling. Bowling sucks. She makes her fourth feature on the podcast. I, it, girls I'm think not about that today, guys. What? I'm not. I'm not ready today, guys. It's fine. I drove here today. You look cute. Cool. Thanks, man. Girls are not Have like girls day. think about this as much as guys do, and even when we're in the mood, we'll say no because. It's but like, why? Because guys, what just, is the thinking they behind don't do that? It right. What do you mean? I mean, it's just like we're just gonna do this for what? I feel like because we're what? gonna have sex for what? <laughs> No, okay, we're gonna right. have sex for what? To get all excited and just be let down. Oh, okay, that, I have some no, points to bring out. No, that's, what I, that's what I was gonna say. Like when we think about, like we like exaggerate this shit in our head, okay? And when you guys don't lead it on the way we imagine it in our mm. head the entire day, it's like it's disappointing. Nah. Are you kidding me? No, that's why because we can't live up to the fairy tale that's in your head. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and we don't, you guys will never know what that is in our head because we don't share that. That is, so hey, we just, just share it, shit. share it, and I can but put even on if the we best. Share it, but even if Dude, we if share you it. Share it I'll put on fucking what? What's that movie that uh, that's literally like the fairy tale? Days. No, the fairy tale that comes to life. Enchanted. Enchanted. I'll, it'll be like fucking enchanted. Like, will it though? Yeah. Will like, it? No. yeah. I'm a great planner. <laughs> I'm a great but planner. Like, Dude, I'll put it in like, my notebook. No, but but it doesn't matter like how hard you guys try. It's just always gonna be a little bit of a letdown. Like, that feels like a you problem. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> thing, like, even if we told you like what is going on through well, our head, we'll be let down because we had to tell you. All I'm really? saying, all I'm yeah, saying, I want you guys to just do it perfectly, but know what the hell's going on inside my head. How the fuck do you expect <laughs> them to do it perfectly? I have an off podcast inquiry, dude. This is so like infuriating as a guy because we really put our hundred and ten percent in, and the fact that it just like doesn't even go like slightly the same way that you guys think. Hold on, Zach's calling me into an office meeting. Hold on. Oh shit. Zach said something really funny in there, um, but it, can, it cannot be repeated on the podcast. Hold on. Hey, hold Jared, on. Jared. I caught the last bit of that. Jared, do you agree with my meeting? Oh, 100%. Okay. Because we've all. Feel free. No, like, what was your meeting? Yeah, oh, mm, can't talk about it. You know what I mean? What were you, well, you guys, guys talking had, about? You guys had whispers. What were your whispers about? You're not telling us ours, so we won't tell you yours. Well, that's well, not how it goes. You guys whispered first. What I came over here to tell Indy about, like, whispered in her ear the first time, I literally was just. Was the girls are hornier than guys think? Yeah. Well, I just said I just we ba I basically said what we ended up talking about. That was literally what I said. All I'm saying is if I just didn't know if that wanted to be like mentioned. Throw the yeah. guys a bone every once in a while. Like one out of ten times would be sick if you were like. Okay, but here's the thing: when we think we, we have do throw too many bones, we, we throw we way have, too many bones. Like thrown a bone about it. We throw bones every it. single time. You actually, guys don't take. It. I you feel like you guys don't take explain, little, explain, little, explain like, a bone you've thrown. Yeah, explain a, a bone, bone you've I've thrown. thrown. No, even just like, no, just I'm, like there's subtle hints that we do throughout the day that. Just okay, like ex can you explain? Yeah, you explain. Can't take hints. Explain. No, 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 no. So we can know. Have you ever thought that maybe the hints are too subtle? But they're not. But they're not. There's no way. Ethan snapped and agreed with me. Like, what's the hint? Like, explain just like one small hint. See, I don't think they know. They don't even know. They can't answer. Well, the thing well, is, though, it's like, I, I would yeah, I would, yeah, I can't really. Ah. Okay, all right, hear, hear me out. I think I've kind of got this explained a little bit. The thing is with us, I absolutely hate when guys straight out ask me, you want to have sex? It's like, I don't like that. It's well, like that's there's, like yeah. aggressive and but like just guys like do that not all the time. romantic. But like guys do that all the time. Then even you're if messing it, with the wrong guys. The thing is, though, is like, I love the suspense of like, if you're going to hook up with a guy or not. Even if you guys are together, I love the suspense of it. It's like, ooh, this is exciting. We okay, didn't, I we get didn't that. expect this to go there. I like that feeling too. I think everybody likes that. But also, at some point when you're in a relationship, it's like, <laughs> well, but no, why do you I have was, to no, lose that? No, 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 well, no, no, no. I'm not saying you have to lose no, that. No, I'm what not I'm saying, saying it's is, like, I shouldn't I be as much of a mystery. This podcast here's, is going a lot better than I thought it was. Here's be going. the thing I think, I think girls drop too subtle of hints. And I don't think guys need to just be like straight up like, or we're gonna blah blah blah. You know, it's like I think maybe the, you need, the hints we need, need to find to a common be, ground. Yeah, we do need to find there a common needs ground. needs to be a common ground because guys can pick up on hints, but the hints can't be because too guys, subtle because we're simple creatures. Because guys feel really bad if they like try something and then it seems like they're really not into it, but you actually are into it. So then we shut down and we don't go exactly. Like, that's I can't tell you wait, how what? many times that's happened where wait, like wait, a wait, guy wait. has like tried to do something that we think in our heads is part of like our like getting fairy the girl in the mood, and then if she's like, oh no, I'm just. Uh, and then and then and then you feel bad you're like Fuck, why did i do that dude now i feel like just a creep yes yeah i can't tell you how many times i think like, girls don't think that that's as big of a deal as you guys think it yeah. is it's like if if you guys are like in a consenting relationship and you guys do something that the other girl that the girl doesn't like 
move past it. We don't give an F. It's like that's the okay, thing. But what you about, guys feel like we care more. Okay, than okay. We this do. is what, what I'm saying. about not not <laughs> I was gonna say not it's in like if a you guys do something relationship. More. I mean like not in a relationship, like you're taking the girl on a date. That's how this whole question started. Like oh, you're that's taking awkward. that's like the first Oh time, no, okay. Right? I was talking more like consensual relationship. Yeah, oh, really? I was talking, yeah. If okay. you're in a consenting relationship and then the girl's like, Ooh, I didn't really like that and then it's obviously like a little weird for a second, but like it shouldn't be like this okay, big deal that's like Can I ask you? Okay. Consenting relationship. Um Sex might, like, he kind of suggests it. He makes, like, a move, whatever it is, and then they shut it down. But you say you might not want to shut it down. How do you know when it's actually shut down? What do you mean? You make a move. You say you always say no, even if you want to. Most, if I'm saying no, it's because I don't want to. It's like I, I, I'm But you just said you say no, even if you want to. Yeah, I know, but it's like, it's like I, I could do something, but at the same time, though, it's like I am, like, it's like, this is the thing. Girls are more logical when it comes to, like, hooking up with a guy. It's like meaning like if we it's like we're in the we're in the mood as much as you guys are in the mood, but it's like we start thinking about it logically. It's just like oh, but then I'm gonna need to like shower, and then I'm gonna like I'm tired, and then it's gonna make me way more tired for the morning, and then it's like da 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 da. We start thinking of a million other things versus just in the moment doing that. So that's why I if I ever like say no like to hooking up with a guy, it's just because like maybe I don't want to. Like maybe I genuinely just am not feeling it. To I've got a million other things on my mind, and that's like not what is a priority to me right Can there now. just be an app where the guy's on it, the girl's on it, and you just, you press a button, and it's like, it's like green, blue, and then it's like, like green is like maybe, I might be, I might not be, and then red's like, I definitely want to, and then you like check the app, and his is red, and you're like, he definitely wants to, but like hers is green, so you're like, mm, you know what I mean? And it's like, oh, hers is black, she doesn't want to. Like, you're talking about like two partners yeah. have this app, and okay. it's just like. <laughs> okay, but back to what we were saying in the beginning. Say the girl's is green, and yours is red, and then. Like, or uh, even if ours is red. Like, you just talk a little bit closer. Even if, like, ours is red, if you, like, go about it the wrong way, ours is instantly back to green. <sighs> it's just such what? a, it's such no, a I chess match. I disagree. Mac. I don't. I, feel like I disagree. I feel like if a guy tries something and I don't like it, big deal. Move past it. Like, it, I just okay, can communicate with him and be like, eh, that's, that's, that's not really my thing. Move past it. That's different. That's different. That's not what I'm, that's not what I'm saying. Like, yeah, like, if it guy does something you don't really like, then it's like, you know that it, then it, you move past. I feel it. like it's guys are different. Like if a girl does but something like, we don't okay, like, I guess okay. We Say won't bring it up. If, yeah. if, if like the so girl weird. was on green, if it's just like an and like I like could be in the mood. Oh, if it's like an and I could be in the mood, and then, and then you, you guys do the something way, that gets us out of the mood. Then, then yeah, we're then, not going back in the mood. Back in the mood. That's what I meant when I said. So there's no like you can't if you make one wrong move. There's no way of like getting back. If we're in the stage and the eh, really. See, but I feel like there is a way for. Like to get back to it, but it's like, guy, it'll dude, take we have to do like we we're like doing brain surgery. Like, I don't think <laughs> it's guys. like playing operation. Just don't hit the sides. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll we'll try again. Restart the game. Um, but no, if guy, I feel like if something like goes wrong with guys, like I feel like you would never. Why bring would it up, you? Though. Why would you not bring it up? Like, I feel like the thing that makes like hooking up with the person good is when you guys are communicating. Yeah, but, but that like was the like whole it. situation. I like it if a guy's like, yo, like, I don't like this. I like this. But yeah. like in the moment, I yeah. think but in the also, moment, yes. okay, so I feel like in my situation, it's such a I think I'm more considering, I'm more thinking consenting relationship, but also if you've never been with a person that is really awkward. See, I'm just that's, thinking that's if you're, thing. you guys are thinking, in my head, I'm still really confused because you guys are thinking like consenting relationships. I'm switching relationships. back and forth kind of thing. I'm thinking just like, from like the question, it's like you're going on a date with this person. It's like you're not together, but like you know them or whatever. It's I like. I just feel like when we're both there, we're both in such a vulnerable state. I know, like, like if some if I was corrected, I wouldn't take it hard, but I don't want it to come off like I'm saying something and then her take it hard. Like I don't want my words to the be. Girls like, will never take it hard. I, I feel mean, like maybe. Some might. Some might, but some also some guys might take it weird. Well, yeah, it's just depending on the delivery. I wouldn't want to deliver it bad and they feel bad. And so I'm like, if what, if, if hold guy, on, what the hell like are we talking like about like anymore? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, girls don't care. Like, if, if you don't like something, I mean, that's just us. That. I mean, we're talking for, uh, I mean, a majority, but just yeah. us. Like, we, let's just say it's just us. Mm -hmm. I, like, I would never take it bad if a guy was like, this is not my thing. I'd yeah. be like, all right, let's do something else. <laughs> Okay. We we don't want to do something that you guys don't like. Can you okay? We'd rather be there are a lot of guys that. listening right now. Is there? Can we you give them strayed so far from like the date question? You know what? Let's talk about let's talk about bowling. I'm just kidding. Okay. Can you guys just give them like like a couple tips, just small tips that might help them in those situations? Just the tips, Jared. Not the time. Um. Actually, the exact time. I was gonna say I was like that I is think the it perfect depends. time. I think it just depends on you and your partner. And I think honestly, the best, the biggest tip in my book is just communication. Yeah. Oh, but hold on. This is also a thing. If a girl says no and she's just not feeling it, don't ask why. That gets me 
so mad and turns me off like that. If I'm not feeling it, why the f*** do you need to know why? If I don't want to have sex, I don't want to have sex. There should never be, you should never have to ask why. <laughs> but like, honestly though, you no, should never I, have yeah, to ask no, why. I, get that. I don't, I and don't have to have a reason for not wanting to do well, that. Well, yeah, yeah, that's not what we're talking about. No, I'm talking about that though. But like, that's a tip. That's genuinely a tip. That and like communicate. If you don't like something, tell the girl. No, we got all that. We want tips for when it's good. <laughs> oh, what do you mean? <laughs> like how to make it good. Those are the ways to make it good. To not do those to not, I'm not going to talk about how to make it good. Well, not in, Dude, I'm, I'm so not saying lost like, in what I'm I thought. Saying, how, this whole time, like I thought we were talking to... about like when you're on a date and like trying to keep the vibes good. But now yeah, it, it sounds even... like we're already in the bedroom. And You've I'm been talking yeah, about I've, the bedroom. I've dude. only been talking about how like, long. The okay, hell? okay, 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 okay. A guy or a girl? I guess mostly a guy wants to have sex with a girl. How a girl could have sex with a girl? Well, I understand. Yeah, I understand how that works. Yeah, I'm so talking about like rather. we're talking about the situation. No, I'm talking about no. It's just yeah. Like if a guy is trying to set it up, he's like, okay, I want to have sex with her later. I don't want to come up as a creep. How far ahead do you have to set it up? I think but that's worse when you try and set it up. No, not set it up. You know what I mean, though. No, meaning I think it's worse when you try and like when you go into it being like, I want to have sex with this girl. Like I don't think we can help that. Just as like Neandra. I calls. think that's just yeah. That's just like a physical yeah. like. That's and like okay, a okay. That's fine, but like don't thing. try and like do anything to like. Set it up. We're not trying to do. We're not anything. trying to set but it I'm up. I'm saying like, don't try anything. It's so confusing. Like, don't, <laughs> so just like, hold on. Go, go with what. Like, figure out her vibe. Like, it's it depends on every single situation. There's nothing that you can do in that day that's going to change her mind. But every we have to keep in mind, like every girl is di- mic. every girl is different and yeah. likes to that situation to be brought up differently. Yeah. Like, it's not like, even if we were uh, to, There's like, no a textbook tip, to this. There's yeah. literally nothing that we can say that would help with the girls that you guys are getting with or talking to because, like, no, we're not, we're, we're just not, not those we're talking girls. about the users. I know, but, like, that's the thing. I'm, like, yeah, if I'm, we were ta- to I'm bring talking up, about, like, bring that up, too. like, give up tips, that, that's, like, that's for us. ourselves. That's, that's not, like, that doesn't work for every girl. The thing is, it's all different. The thing is, sex is such an intimate, personal thing. We cannot give you guys tips on what we like to help you guys with whoever you're hooking up with because it's just not going to work. And it's the same with, like, the users. It's just not going to work because, like, we're we're just not those people and it's just not gonna like that's not how that goes yes, uh, <laughs> yes. Hold on. <laughs> i'm just trying to figure out dude it's it's literally jared has to think about everything we said earlier yeah. and put it in like yeah because i was in a completely like yeah that. i was in a completely different dude, head it's, try, it's like trying we to do talking. a word search while skydiving <laughs> <laughs> it's like okay uh, we got one thing right. We got one thing right, but yet yeah, uh, we're still falling to the ground. <laughs> and I gotta remember my parachute. <laughs> we're still falling to the ground. That's funny. Holy hell! All What's right, that? Zach, you want to argue for ball? I know. Hell oh yeah! God. All right, I'm I'm out, guys. <laughs> Bye, Riley. <laughs> that devil's advocate just turned into a sex talk. <laughs> and Let's I guess, have a sex talk. Yeah. I guess Give I'm the only good, one the off, yeah. that actually likes bowling. So I guess there goes that question. So here we go. All right, so we're gonna play a game of say? Mad Libs. Riley right here is going to ask us the questions, like whether she needs a noun, adjective, adverb, whatever, because... Oh, this is a stupid game for me. I'm not smart enough for that. Holy hell. It's super simple. (laughs) Um, We just... I don't know the difference between like... You don't know the difference between an adverb and an adjective? One's like a descriptive word. One. Which one? (laughs) Adjective. There we go. There you go. I don't know know what the f***ing adverb is. Right. Jared has to give me an adjective. Cold. I'm slaughter you for that. I know, dude, but people are so dumb. Like they don't get the joke. All right, Jared. Uh, not Jared. Zach. Plural noun. Yeah, this is not a smart game Kittens. for me. If you want to pass on one, I'm pass. No, on I'm just gonna need examples. All right. Um, <laughs> verb. Please, please also give me an example. I know. In <laughs> action. In action. Walking. No. A noun. Um, a roast beef sandwich. Yeah. What? <laughs> I don't know. I, I was say, just thinking of a noun. Yo. What? <laughs> Adjective. Sexy. Nice. Nice. Mm-hmm. Number. Me. 69. Ah, I was going to whisper it to you. Mm. Adjective. Wet. <laughs> All right. This is going <laughs> poorly. Plural noun. Puppies. That's so cute. Kittens and puppies. Adjective. Swimming. <laughs> Holy hell. It's a verb. Mm. Or describing Descri- Descriptive word. Descriptive. Yep. Like sparkly. Dark. Plural noun. Um... Uh, cars. Love that movie. Person in room. Indiana. Yeah, there we go. Now we get some names going. Adjective. Oh, I keep getting this one. All right, I'll skip that one. Adjective. Adjective. Are you sure you don't want to? No, I was gonna do it. All right. Okay, go. Light. Dark light. Yep. <laughs> Number. Um, forty-two. Color. Red. Okay, red. <laughs> <laughs> 
answered for Zach. Zach can answer for me. Type of liquid. Sperm. <laughs> yeah, I was going to put it. They're not put that. Just put it. But Why I was not? Sperm. Put cum. So. Oh. Well, cum is such an better. aggressive word. Yeah. Are we oh. sure it's not a like who pl- chose that word? No, nah, we should. That's a plasma. That's what I was going to say. Is it a plasma? I guess we could. Let me use an orange juice. No, ah, oh, sperm would be fun. Okay, yeah, we'll just use say sperm. sperm, not cum. Cum's aggressive. I don't like that word. Number. I don't like the p word either. Another number. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Eighteen. Unless we're in that situation, I don't want to hear that word. Same thing with the c word. Plural noun. Frogs. <laughs> Why do you just keep? Where'd you come up with frogs? <laughs> I don't know. Back in my head. Adjective. It was probably from the trampoline thing. Adjective. Indie. Did you like that thing? God, why is she putting the adjective? I know. Um, colorful. Oh, that could be gross. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> number. Another number. I want one million. No, Jared. Four hundred and seventy-six thousand. It'd be hard to say. Just give. Yeah. Just give us a seven. Eleven. Of course. You slut. Place. Superstitious piece of shit. Huh? A it's place. tattooed on my wrist. A place. Um, my bedroom. Zach's bedroom. Hey, there you go. If I get one more f***ing adjective, I'm going to kill Please be an adjective. It was same place. So oh, hold on. All right. Did read we, it. Who's going to read can it? Can I read it? Can I read it? Can I read it? All right, ready? All right, here's our Mad Lib story. The title of this story is called Business or Pleasure. Oh, wait. This was the adult Mad Libs? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Read it in like a... A storytelling? Yeah. All right, ready? Headed to Vegas for a cold business trip, but still want to check out the... Bis- what? Wait, wait. This sounds like I'm an infomercial. But still want to check out the sights and kittens. All right. Yeah, this sounds like a freaking infomercial. It's right? just a Mad Libs. Let's Hold read on. it. Start from the top. <laughs> Headed to Las Vegas for a cold business trip, but still want to check out the sights and kittens. Here are some tips you'll need on you'll need to walk on your visit to Roast Beef Sandwich City. Oh. <laughs> After a sexy day of 69. Whoa. <laughs> 69 meetings. 69 meetings. <laughs> head to one of Vegas's many wet buffets. Ooh. Hell yeah. Stuff yourself with fried puffies, dark tacos, and freshly baked cars. Did they say fried puffies? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> fried so dark. puffies, dark tacos, and freshly baked cars. Then you'll want to hit then you'll want to hit one of the big casinos like Indiana. Indiana's Palace or the MGM Light. Whoa. Don't feel badly if you blow $42 at the red, (laughs) at the red jack table, because, hey, at least you got a free shot of sperm. (laughs) Oh, Oh, my God. (laughs) That's disgusting. Pace yourself. Don't have more than 18 drinks in an hour and never mix hard frogs with beer. Sounds like me. (laughs) It will make you feel colorful. And you'll never wake up in time for the 11 important meetings you have again the next day. But the most important thing is to remember, have fun. Because what happens in Zach's bedroom stays in Zach's bedroom. Hey. Hell yeah. Hey. Hell yeah. Isn't that the uh, God's honest truth, though? It is. That was really weird. What happens in that bedroom now that I've moved out, Zach? What kind of tomfoolery? Yeah. He probably just sits there and complains about Kentucky losing the entire season. Oh, well, that's really sad. In fact, I know that's what he does. You don't know what I do in there. Should we move on to fan questions? Um, we didn't mention this earlier before, but this is literally the day after we recorded last week. No, it's not. Merry Christmas. Um, Hope everyone had a great Christmas. It uh, is. It is. What are your New Year's resolutions? We didn't have that many fan questions. Also, we also didn't know what we were going to talk about, and this surprisingly turned out better than I thought it would. That's how most of our podcasts go. So (laughs) I'm going to snack. I'm going to play some fan questions, and I'm going to be honest. I kind of completely forget what they're about, but here we go. Here's the first one. Hi, Dropouts. I'm Sophie. Hi. Um, I just was wondering if you could um, tell me how you guys deal with failure personally. I am very much a perfectionist, and especially with grades, it's really hard for me to, like, just let something go. And so I, like, I'll stay up really late and procrastinate and all that stuff. And so just in general, it's very hard. Like, I have never really failed, I guess, before, which sounds kind of um conceited I guess but um like I've never failed failed before and so I was wondering if I know what I want to say like I'm very scared of failing and so I was wondering if you guys could give me tips on that um I love you all I'm like a third of each team or whatever there we go um, and 
I hope you have a good day. Thank you, Sophie. It's Wait, very sweet of you. Before you answer, I'm not going to answer, but I wanted to say something off topic. Mm. I find it so amazing. Like, sometimes I'm just watching the fan questions, and it's one thing to put out content and edit and do this, right? But it's another to actually know that people are, like, sitting there watching this. And That's why I can't wait for us to, to like, do a live show. Oh, it's going to be incredible. I'm so excited for us to I do a live show. I want us to do a live day. show so bad. So Even if it's like, small and intimate, I would mm-hmm. still love it. I think I would yeah. love it more if it was small and intimate. We were literally we were talking about show. just... No, mm-hmm. we were talking about like just going to um like a different city or whatever and finding like a 50 every city has like a 50s diner and just like renting it out for a few hours and like just, just having like, like live and, and we put yeah. our tickets at the only price just to cover like the costs like i wouldn't care about really making money yeah, yeah i wouldn't care about making money ones. either i would i genuinely would not care about making money i just think it would be so cool to ha- oh this is my camera isn't it That's sick you're saying you're having a fear of failure like you work really hard on your grades, but if it doesn't come out correctly, you're going to be um, not in the best headspace because of that. I was the same way when I was in high school. Like I was military dictator on myself when it came to grades. I would stay up all night. I would make sure I knew the material. I, I wouldn't slack off at all when it came to grades. And I think um, that's actually a really good thing that you're doing because it instills um, work ethic, which is really going to help you out in later in life and problem solving. Um, but when it comes to failure, if you are failing because you aren't putting in the effort, then that's something you need to reflect on and and tighten it up and realize that I'm failing because it's my own fault and I'm not putting in the input to receive the output. That's my fault. But if you try your absolute hardest on grades or whatever it is in life and you don't get the results and you fail for things that are outside of your control, I don't think you should ever hold that against yourself. And that should always be a learning experience because from that point on, you can always take lessons from what went wrong and then implement them to your life. So um, it goes not as wrong or even it goes right the next time. So that's what I personally think. Um, If you put in the effort and um, you do everything the right way according to your moral standards and books and it still doesn't come out to your outcome, you can't fault yourself on that and dwell too much. You could be bummed out, but just understand it's a learning experience. That's the most important thing. It's just like people often look as failure. It's like that's that's the end of the road. But it's really not. That's like that's just kind of like a turn, you know, that you got to make and you got to like learn from that. And that's like one of the biggest things like um, like I think it was like Gary V or someone like we always refer to him. But he has a lot of great quotes and he's like he's like I might have failed in that moment, you know, but he's like the lessons that I learned from that allowed me to win in the end, you know. So it's just like failure is like a momentary thing, not the whole end game here's the second question oh she looks so cute i love your podcast so so much and i've binge watched every episode thank you now i have nothing to watch but my question is if you were to be anybody in the world for one day who would it be and why also i'm team indy all the way but for what reason? Gonna be like, why are you team Andy? Well, because she is a queen. She's not though. She okay. called you out. Oh, did Literally she? Literally, as you were I'll saying, I'll fight that. you, little girl. She is like that's adorable. I like she's binge watched over twenty five hours. It was adorable until I realized I, uh, that more, her family that's more than 25 is hours. a Michigan fan, and as an Ohio person, I can't get behind. She that. okay? Well, she's not your okay, supporter. So, so this, she's mine. This she's is great. Why, I have the same earrings as her. Go queen. Well, there can't she's be two queens, so fan. one of you guys got to choose. Anyway. Um, so this is what I'm thinking. Indy, Jared, you guys probably have like some celebrity answers or somebody of higher prevalence. I want you and I to switch. What was it? Mindsets for a day. Mindsets for a day where I can feel all the fiery passion and aggression and anger and you can feel. um, So you'd want to be me for a day. But I wouldn't want to. Not necessarily be me, but my mindset. Yeah. I want to feel how you feel things. Like when you get set off by just like the smallest thing, I want to know how that feels. Like, but when you get happy about the happiest things, I want to know how that feels. That was going to be my answer because I'm so curious as to what goes on. You guys want to be in my head for a day? Because Because I'm so curious to how your head works. She's got the most confusing head in the entire world. I don't understand it. It's just. really interesting. (laughs) <laughs> and then fire and then just hellfire and she doesn't care who she burns and then the next minute it's like oh yeah, I want to go get some McNuggets that's so true and I dude okay when I get in a fight about something like that ruins my day maybe yeah. too her it's fight and then like an hour later she's like who wants to go uh, rollerblading with me the girl you just fought with the girl who just like made you sad you guys want to go with me rollerblade 
<laughs> we're like, no, you made me mad. That's interesting. So what's your answer? <laughs> Wouldn't you want to feel what it's like to be leveled out? That seems boring. No, but I think it'd be like a good. Like you want to want to. I get the only reason I would want to be you for a day. Is to see above the fridge. The only reason I would want to be you for a day, Zach, is to f- to know what it's like to be. Like, and I know you don't think this. And I know, I know you don't think this, but from an outsider's perspective, and I think everyone in this room can agree, I want to know what it's like to be the absolute funniest in the room every time you're in the room. Unless you're with, like, stand-up comedians that are, you know what I mean? But, like, for the most part, you're normally the funniest in the room, and you're the quick, you have the quickest wit in the room. And I would love to know what that's like. I don't think it's about trying to be funny. I think it's about just, like, pointing out the situations that either everyone's thinking about or no one's thinking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but so, yeah, that's what I, to be the, like, to have the most wit in the room, I would love to know what that's like. That's the only reason I'd want to switch minds with you. I feel like that's a skill you can work on, though. But also, uh, it's yeah, but definitely I, innate. You know, yeah. but I th- I think the pointing out sometimes the, what it's a people, curse. I think pointing out what people are feeling in a room that uh, no one is thinking or no one is saying. Uh, what did you say? You said they're because I never feel like anyone's on my wavelength. Not in like a superior intellect way. Like like in what I'm thinking about in that situation. I'm like. Nobody's thinking about that grandma over there and how hilarious it was that she yawned left because it was funny because she looked like a dinosaur. That's what I'm saying. It's like that's that's innate. That, that's I, not yeah, something you that, can really work on. Yeah. Yeah. I just wish somebody got me. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Because <laughs> sometimes I'm trapped in my own mind and it's just like I'm at a carnival. It's so fun, but I'm by myself, you know. Well, that sucks. Well, that got depressing. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we'd all be each other for a day. I well, nobody said you if I if I. <laughs> I feel like it would be pretty fucking Honestly, awesome to be me. I, think I would like cool. to be Jared I, for a day. I would like to, uh, genuinely, and this is not just because he pointed it out, I would love to be each of you for a day, obviously. If I had to only pick one, it would be Zach because I want to know what it's like to have that much wit. But on the other hand, I would love to know what it's like to just be that f- happy. Yeah, it's great. I love it. <laughs> it's so <laughs> like awesome. Right now, you just got excited about it. You went, yeah. yeah. You f- but like the thing is though, I know that it's genuine happiness and I know <laughs> that you get sad like we all do, but for the most part, you are are an overwhelmingly happy human being and that's amazing, but I have no idea what that's like. <laughs> like in my state right now, with that's f***ing crazy. How is somebody that f- happy. I don't know. You smiled more in this podcast than I have absolutely in my entire life. You say that every <laughs> pod. He smiled more than I think I ever will in my life in this one podcast. I think honestly it stems from. You have the teeth for it. Thank you. My mom calls it the $10,000 smile because we had every gadget or whatever like that an orthodontist has put in my mouth. I had spacers, braces, tongue rollers, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> It's a it. tongue roller. If you want to add one more thing to that mouth, I could uh Ew, Zach. I could deposit what? a tongue Jared. roller. You say ill Zach, but then like in like the minute this podcast is over, you guys kick me out so you guys can have an absolute field day. Because it's boys being boys, you know? Um no, but a tongue lovers roller. Lovers being lovers. My Jared, so can you please say we don't have sex on camera? We don't have sex. Of course we don't have sex. I just sex. need you to like combat it because it doesn't it seems like uh, I just figured it was like a given. Um no, but I don't know if the, okay, it might not be sex, yeah, but like it's definitely you guys like job. from a young age I read the study, it was like fake smiling causes real happiness or something like that. And Noted. So, and then also like my parents instilled in me like fake it till you make it. And so I just like I kind of combine those two. So it's like fake your happiness and real happiness comes. And then <laughs> when real happiness comes, real happiness stays. So they're having we a completely different. Listening. Yeah, I know. No, I was. That's real normal. happiness. Something. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Um, All right. Over to question. fan questions. Okay. We have. She's uh, adorable. That just makes me so happy. We have a relationship question. Um, I don't have any. I f- hate relationship questions. I, and you're going to hate this even more. I don't have any memes this week. Oh, that's fine. What so. do you mean? So this is the last question. Yep. What's up, dropouts? All right. Here's my situation. So basically, there's this guy. And he, I like him, and he's like me. We've like talked for like three months, like in the talking stage. But it's like he's so on and off. Like it kind of confuses me because like I've never been in like a relationship to know if that's like an issue, like a red flag or anything. Because one day he literally told me to like call him and tell him that I love him. Like I don't know. Like like it's weird. That sounds crazy. Another day he like won't even talk to me. So mm. interesting. I've never I don't know what I'm that in my either. life. Anyways, fifty percent team Indy, fifty percent team Jared, and hell Zach. yeah, yeah. Anyways, can I start off? I think I actually have got to put. Shut the hell up. 
Are you just mad because they're not part of your team? I think you're just pissed because they're not part of your team. The guy you're talking to sounds like a freaking psycho. Yeah, that's not like a healthy... That's just them being toxic and manipulative and getting you, like, using your love as a way of... Validation. Know, validation, and, and it's weird, dude. Don't do that. Yeah, you gotta you gotta get rid of that before that even remotely becomes something Yeah, that's something super more. toxic. I've been in something like that, and it's just, it never leads to healthy things. Riley, you wanna shut the f*** I don't care what happens in your relationship, sweetheart. I'm busy. Zach also agrees with us. He's just kind of salty that, <laughs> that you're you... not team Zach. Yeah. Next... Oh, we're done. That's it. That's all I have for you guys. That's the week. podcast. Thank Make you sure guys so like... much. Wait, you know I go first and you go well, after. I'm going first now. But no, then because you're going to see like, comment, subscribe, see you later. Right, five viewers. Ahead. Okay. Um, Glad we figured that out. If you guys watch to the end, DM me your New Year's resolution, and I'm going to make it happen no matter what it is. Actually, Jared's going to make it happen. You're I don't want to put this pressure on myself. Jared's going to help, help you with... DM me your New Year's resolution. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. It really helps with our algorithm. Do whatever you want. Make sure to follow us at Dropouts Pod on Instagram. I'm Indiana. That's Zach Justice. This is Jer Bear Music. We will see you guys next week for another episode of Bye, Dropouts. Swag daddies. Bye, B-Words. All right, stay there. Put the mic down. Make faces.